There's a storm headed our way. Yes, and I have it timed to the hour. Okay. So we'll get to that in just a moment right now. I want to show you some delightful photographs. These were taken, of course, in beautiful up there in Sugar House Park. And these birds are in the, in the ice. Now they need to get over to the water, so they did. <laughs> And yes, it was uh, sunny, partly cloudy, mostly cloudy, but warm enough to get out and enjoy the activities. Outside currently 36 degrees, 46 percent humidity, and uh, yeah, these uh, temperatures right now continue to be right there, a little bit above normal, but not quite exactly where you would anticipate that they might be this time of the year. Now look at uh, tonight's view outside. You can see that we have some some beautiful clear to partly cloudy skies and again showing the photograph of the beautiful gorgeous fabulous and wonderful picture taken out there by our wonderful photographers and they are showing us the best of the best and they are definitely good pictures okay gary walker bryce canyon we get through these pictures for you now, outside it's 36 in Ogden, 36 in Salt Lake City, 45 in St. George. High temperature on the Battle of Bench, 39, Cedar City, 45, Elko, 43, and Kanab, 53. Some other reports, including 28 and 5 in Montpelier, but Ogden was 42, Richfield, 39, and Salt Lake, 41. Looking at Salt Lake City's high of 41, that's a little below normal, but 60 in St. George. Here's the satellite picture, and it certainly shows that we do have an approaching storm system. Let's put these maps into motion and I'll show you that there's a warm front coming in tonight and then tomorrow the cold front. The cold front will be here about three, four in the afternoon. Now, that could mean some very strong winds will follow from the canyons on Tuesday. Now, maps into motion showing you that scattered showers mainly across the north and look at that cold front coming in late in the day. The Uintas get hit hard. Daniel's strawberry if you have to travel. And into southern Utah, we'll just plain old call it windy with some sun and clouds mixed. Notice that late in the day, Nephi gets some snow. 62 on Monday, then 50, 49 Tuesday, Wednesday, St. George, then up to 61 again on Saturday. Here's the Salt Lake City forecast. Here's the specific forecast for you. I want you to watch this very carefully. This is the most important thing I can tell you today. Here comes the cold front. Here's the timing. There you are at 3 o'clock. There you are about 4 o'clock. So Ogden, 4 o'clock. There's Salt Lake City, 5 o'clock. And then 5 to 6 p.m. in the Provo Orem area. Uh, there will be about three hours of heavy snow behind this front. So two to four inches in the valleys uh, on the high side in some spots, four to six on the benches. And then we have the uh, canyon winds that will come in for us on Tuesday. I don't expect them to be strong canyon winds anywhere from 30 to 50 miles per hour. That's strong enough. 30 on Wednesday, then 32 Thursday, 33 Friday, and up by uh, Sunday, I see another little weak storm system coming in. So we'll bring in the chance for a few snow showers, and that'll help to keep the fog and the haze and the smog from becoming a problem this okay. week. But be careful driving tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the big problem. Tuesday morning, not so much. Okay, thanks, Dan. You're welcome.